Welcome back everybody. Today I'm testing out the Dash Mini Donut Maker. It's the most popular donut maker on Amazon. Let's see how it works in today's video. All right, this is not my first Dash product. I've got the Dash Mini Waffle Maker I did a while back. I got the same color so they'd match. It looks very nice together, don't they? I wanna kinda of jump into it. I wanna dispense with the proper unboxing, but I do have a few features to go over first. Uh, first up, I paid $21.99 for this. It's the number one bestseller on Amazon's Mini Donut Makers. Now they claim that it makes seven mini donuts in minutes. It's 760 watts. They say it's so simple that a child can use it even though it gets really hot. It has a nonstick surface and non-slip feet. Now, most people on Amazon seem to like this. Most people say it's easy to use, fun to use. There's been a few complaints to consider. Some people said the donuts were too small, but it's a mini donut maker. I'm not sure what they're thinking. A few people complain there's no temperature control. Some said that it should have a power button, um, and some people said it burns easily. I ran it through a cycle, and I cleaned it off, so it's pretty much ready to go. There is an included instruction booklet and recipe guide, which is quite helpful. There's like a, quite a few recipes in the back there. I'm, I give them credit for that. There's a lot of nice recipes. They have a classic mini donut recipe I'm gonna use that one and I'm gonna do what a lot of people on Amazon said and they said they use just regular cake mix I'm gonna try both and see how it works because there were some complaints online saying the recipes even though there's a lot of them aren't very good so let me start off with their recipe for the mini donuts I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna come back and we're gonna get started I just made the batter. Now they say to put it in a Ziploc bag with a corner cut off, which I've done. It's very thick, it's like cookie dough. Maybe it needs to be thick like that. I plug the unit in, it's preheating. There's supposedly a light on here. Uh, I guess there is a light there. So when it's done, I'm gonna spray it, load it up, and hopefully you have some donuts in a few minutes here. All right, the light just went off. Let's open it, spray it, and add the batter. They say to do the center one last, so I'll do that. Oh, it's a disaster. Oh no. I'm not sure about this bag here. I'm not sure about this, but we're gonna close it up, go a minute and a half, and see how it turns out. This batter is so thick, I'm not sure how it's, how it's gonna turn out. It just seems like very thick. At the minute and a half mark, we're supposed to flip them. Let's see. Okay, that's interesting. All right, they are flipped. Now they say to go four more minutes. Most people on Amazon said that is not accurate to go another minute and a half or so. I'm gonna keep checking this because four minutes seems like a bit much because they already seem like they're half cooked already. All right, it's been three more minutes. Let's take a look here. Eh. I I'm, not, I'm not impressed. I'm not, this, I mean, it's first batch, you know, but I'm just not, not impressed by this. I mean, it's donut-like. I just, I don't, it's uneven, I don't know. I'm not real f fond of their recipe, to be honest. It was so thick, it didn't even feel like batter, it felt like cookie dough. I don't know what I could have done differently based on what I was working with, but I do know what I'm going to do differently next time. This is what I got, not, not impressive whatsoever. That is, this is not, not even attractive. I don't even wanna, I wouldn't wanna give these to my kids. I'm gonna go back to the drawing board. I'm gonna try something that actually feels like batter and try to fill these up that way because uh, a lot of people online were complaining about their, their recipe and now I see why. So break it in half. I mean, it looks nice and fluffy inside. It tastes more like a waffle than a donut. This is like a, this is like a waffle. It's like a round waffle. I'm going back to the drawing board. I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep going because I don't want round waffles. I want round donuts. So let's see how the next round goes because I don't, this is, this to me, this is a round waffle, not a donut. Hmm. For this round, I've got some Duncan Hine cake mix and I put it in one of these containers to dispense it with, which some people online said was a better way to do it. It's just finished preheating, the light went off. So let's spray it and get started. They said to make it about three quarters of the way full, which is what I'm trying to do here. A lot of people had a tendency to overfill this, um, which I don't want to do. So I'm trying to make it exactly three quarters of the way full. That looks pretty good. I think uh, we're ready to go. I close it up 90 seconds and then we flip them with a toothpick. So I'll be back in 90 seconds, see how it goes. Here we go, the minute and a half mark, we're supposed to flip them. Let's see what we got. Oh, these look like donuts, unlike round one. They said to use a toothpick to flip. They don't think they can really flip those. They're too soft to flip yet. I'm gonna let it go a little longer. Some people said you don't even need to flip them. Uh, I'm just gonna kind of play it by ear because following their instructions the first round didn't go so well. At the two and a half minute mark, I'm flipping them. All right, I guess I'm gonna go about another minute. It seems like they're, they're getting close to being done. So uh, wait a minute and see how it goes. 
Oh, these look pretty good. These look pretty good to me. I'm gonna unplug this and then move this over and see what we got. They do say to use a toothpick for handling these donuts. That's what I'm doing. These are quite small. I feel like I can, I can get a little bit bigger donuts out of it. So I'm gonna move these off to the side here. I'm gonna go right back into it. Here we go, not even cleaning up or anything. And I'm gonna try to fill this up quite a bit this time. All right, I made it much more full this time, so hopefully it works out better. All right, then at the minute and a half mark, let's try to flip them. Oh, there we go, much better. That, that looks more like a donut to me. They're very fluffy still. All right, so I don't know how much longer it was supposed to go. I've kind of given up on trying to time it or use recipes. I'm just gonna kind of eyeball it when it's ready. I'll pull it out of there. All right, it's been about two minutes since I flipped them. Let's take a look here. Oh yeah, I think these are done. I'm gonna kind of use the toothpick and tongs technique here. I'm gonna let these cool a little bit, put together a couple toppings and then see how they turned out. All right, now that I've got some donuts worth actually eating, let's try topping some of them with a couple different toppings here. Simple glaze. And some people said they just used regular icing that was melted in the microwave. Let's try that as well. All right, I'm gonna top all these, including the couple of waffle tasting ones I have left over that I don't like so much. We'll do all these and then see how they look. All right, I'm gonna let these cool for a little bit and then we're gonna take a final look. All right, here's the final result. I think it came out pretty good. It took me a couple of rounds to get it right, but I think these are certainly acceptable. My drizzle technique might need a little bit of work, uh, but I think it turned out pretty good. Now for the uh, most important thing is the actual taste test. Let's see how that goes. It definitely looks like a donut on the inside, but does it taste like a donut? That's the question. Now for the taste test. Well cooked, light and fluffy. It was, it was perfectly cooked, it tastes fine. I think that it did a good job. All right, I was gonna do some more, but I think I've got enough information to wrap this thing up now. As far as the pros and cons go, the pros would be that it does work. It's easy to use, it's pretty fast. There doesn't seem to be any problems with it sticking and it's only 22 bucks, so it's not that expensive. Now, as far as the cons go, the donuts are pretty small, even for mini donuts. It's not particularly easy to clean either. If you look inside here, you have all these little crevices in your that always get oil or batter in there. You're not supposed to submerge it underwater, so I'll end up holding it under the sink and washing with a sponge. It's not particularly easy to clean. Their recipe was so thick, it ended up tasting like waffles. I thought it was something wrong. I made it twice, it was thick both times. So in the end, it's probably gonna take a little bit of trial and error depending on the recipe that you want to use. I still prefer fried donuts over baked donuts, and these are kind of like baked donuts, but I do see why people like it. But if you've tried the Dash Mini Donut Maker, let us know what you think in the comments below. I appreciate you watching, and I'll see you next time.